By 2025, every producer in Australia will have electronic tags set up for all their sheep and goats. It's part of a bold national approach to bolster biosecurity as the threat of foot and mouth disease looms on our doorstep. January the 1st, 2025. That's the deadline for all Australian livestock producers to have their sheep and goats electronically tagged. We would need to rejig our yards, uh, purchase the scanners, um, particularly if we're purchasing sheep. It's part of a national approach agreed upon by state agriculture ministers to improve traceability if and when foot and mouth disease gets into the country. But if we're leaving you know, weak links anywhere, then that will cause an issue for, for our export potential in the future. But not everyone agrees with the mandate. How having the electronic tags will actually be any better than um, the uh, mob-based system we actually utilise at the moment. When it comes to prices, conventional tags retail between 20 to 30 cents while electronic tags are over $2 a piece. If we have 2,000 lambs a year, uh, you're looking at probably a cost differential of $3,500 a year, which doesn't sound a lot in the scheme of things, but it's another one of those burdens. But Minister for Agriculture Dougal Saunders says the industry won't be alone in the transition. We do need to do a bit more work on exactly how that financial support will look. There'll be federal support, there'll also be state support. Mandatory sheep tagging in New South Wales was first considered expensive, but that conversation quickly shifted after the outbreak of foot and mouth disease in Bali threatened our $80 billion livestock industry. And when the time comes, our farmers are expected to get on board. Otherwise, they'll risk not being able to sell their livestock to abattoirs. If a scheme is mandated at a national level, then to be able to sell into that supply chain, um, the expectation is you will be part of that. A task force is currently being set up, so all industries can have their say on the transition. Christopher Tan, 7 News. And in another biosecurity push to manage foot and mouth and lumpy skin disease, if it ever comes to Australia, the state government is fast-tracking a world-first mRNA vaccine, signalling a deal with United States company Tibber Biotech. It's about a synthetic version of a vaccine, so we're not worried about disturbing our foot and mouth free um, uh, recognition for Australia. Synthetic vaccines don't use the virus itself, so we, we keep that ability to say we are foot and mouth or lumpy skin free. Agriculture Minister Dougal Saunders says he is confident the vaccine will be manufactured in New South Wales and ready for use by August 1 next year.